you rise up, please? When you are in my meeting, get ready to do exercise. Sit down, rise up. You would have known me for years, know me. Um, listen, if you saw my pastor yesterday, he said, he said to you that when he was ordaining me 25 years ago, the Lord told me that this is a strange pastor, a strange prophet. No, being prophet is strange enough. To now be now to now be defined as a strange prophet make it stranger or extremely strange I'm strange I heard the Lord saying he said today there will be uncommon encounters while teachings are going on are you listening to me he said, while teachings are going on, are you listening to me? He said, while teachings are going on, people will literally see Jesus. They will have, God told me, he said, this is a ministry that I gave an assignment to, to communicate the supernatural nature of God to a generation. And in celebration of your 25th anniversary, he said, the same experience I gave you 32 years ago, I will give many. not kidding i'm saying he said you we have encountered he said some of you there are prophecies that have been over your life for so long he said there will be activation today can i beg you please those of you that just like to do two three hours cancel whatever you i'm serious cancel jesus cannot plan to have a meeting with you and you are timing him please don't be stupid did you hear me what did i say don't be stupid. A lot of times we schedule things that won't change our lives. One of the things that's reduced the church is this sense of time consciousness. Now, I believe as leaders, we should be disciplined enough not to waste time. But it takes time to raise. The reason it can see you, the reason why we have so many half-baked disciples is because they don't know how to use time. In Daniel chapter 2, when it was brought to the notice of Daniel that the, oh, that the king had, had a dream and there was nobody who could, you know, decode. I, I had a lot of saying, he said, it's a season of raising decoders. One of the things that the Lord kept on telling me as I was preparing for this conference said, he said, I called you 20, I mean, when you started 25 years ago, your primary assignment was to raise five-fold ministry. He said, from now, henceforth, you have an assignment to deploy an army into every space and spear. Yes. From White House to Asso Rock. What was the number in UK? Number 10? Number 10 where? Down now, okay. Anywhere we we have an assignment to deploy everybody. But listen, the people that were going to the palace and decode are people that understand the use of time. Daniel was a man that was well discipled. So by the time the report got to him that you know there was a dream that needs to be decoded. That's and I had the Lord say one of the reasons for the destructions of your time is going to be there are so many things that the magicians and the astrologers of your generation will not be able to decode. The best of the world will fail in your season. But I need disciples. Somebody shout disciples. That understand how to use time. Disciples that can send message to the king and say, give me some time. You didn't hear me. Daniel chapter 2 from verse 16. Go and read it there. It was not already in hurry out. No. For what is ahead of you, said the Lord. He said you will need to have quality time. If you are going to download the secrets of your generation, it's going to be as a result of time spent with him. Masataria Lakataya. 
I understand church growth. I understand multiple service. But God forbid that we miss out on the plan of God in a bid to have multiple service. Because if you are going to have multiple service, you will also have to create time. Let's say our Sunday money is primarily evangelistic. Fine. But do you also have I said, you know, one of the reasons why I was mad yesterday was this. I said, I said, you don't raise an army virtually. Oh, did you hear me? With all the pandemic, the U.S. Army has not changed their policy. They said, based on what is going on, so, so now, you know, you know, for, your, for you to be a member of the U.S. Army, just stay at home and log on and, you know, we will recruit you virtually and train you virtually. It's only civilians that get that kind of treatment. Virtual does not extend to military personnel. You have to show up. Go through rigorous. Now, the reason why we are saying we start from rest is because after rest, then we're now going into labor. But we labor from rest. Because some people, you know, every Amazing message. People stretch it to the other end. Say, I'm resting. Rest is not equal to laziness. L rest is not inactivity. Rest speaks of... <laughs> it, it speaks of spirit-led activities. So you are resting... To receive instruction. Then once you are instructed. You jump in. But now as you jump in. You are not just jumping in. You are being carried. Paul said do I labor. He said, he said yet not I. <laughs> I labor more abundantly. So in rest I was laboring. But this kind of labor was a labor that was spirit directed. The spirit of grace carried my expression. And that's why at the end of the day, I got more results than any other person. Because I did it from rest. Are you listening to me? All the ministers in the house, if rest or whatever you call it, push you into that over virtual expression, you will end up with civilians in your church. <laughs> and it's no fun to lead civilians. I'm not even wondering. Military people, they don't protest. It's civilians that protest. Oh, you didn't share. Could it be the reason why there's so much protest in your system? Is because your system is full of civilians. Civilians. Their mind is civilian. The wiring is say no, 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 no. Why did they say that? The way we were raised, they told you stand up. You don't even ask, you stand. It's why you are going, you are not even thinking, why am I even going? But even as you are thinking, you are still going. I'm not feeling I'm talking. Your head is saying, but why are you going? Eh, but they say I should go. But this generation stand up. Eh, why, 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 why do I have to stand up? Why do I why, why? listen? I stand in my office as a prophet and I said, I refuse to see Nigerian church go the civilian way. We will not go the civilian way. Because this virtual whatever, the younger generation, they are the ones that master it most now. Because they do remote work. Yeah, some of them, they are here, they are working for companies in America. So they are thinking, if they, if they can work for the company in America from Nigeria... Why can't I go to my church from my home? And the Pashala, they know how to argue. They will break it down for you. But listen, gentlemen, God spoke to me. It will take time to decode the secrets of the palace. Daniel knew that. And that's why he said, give me some time. Give me some time. 
You know, God was teaching me something about a month ago about groanings that cannot be altered. Listen to me. Groanings that cannot what, what, be altered. He said, a lot of people, they never get to that level. But it takes that level to bat. You know what I'm talking about? Those of you that pray very well. You know, there's a prayer, there's a prayer, 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 and you get to a point. You just begin to make uh, 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 your, to your tongue first of all change. I I'm not have been there before. Your tongue first of all change. Then after a while, you don't even know what is coming out of your mouth. You're just hearing sounds. It's not as if God is difficult. But there is a process. There is a navigation in the spirit. And that's why one of the things we have to restore is long prayer. Yes, Training a generation that can pray. Not just a generation that what they do is receive prayer. Oh, some of you under, you don't understand what I raise here. Yeah. Now, this is not to attack. Interesting enough, I have amazing people, including a daughter in Abuja who leads prayer. And, you know, people, people, thousands of people, 5,000 people. Busy at that moment, I have them. They are my people. I love them. God called them. And I'm in their corner. And if you attack them, I will attack you back. Because it's a move of God. But at the same time, can I be real? There are so many people that the prayer they claim to join is more of the receive prayer. They just want to receive it. They are not really praying. You know? Amen. And they are waiting for when that prayer move will now turn into power move. And the word of knowledge will start coming. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, somebody next week. Amen. That's not praying. That's receiving prayer. Oh my God. That is what? Receiving prayer. I'm not talking about receiving prayer. And this is not to attack those moves. That's a move of God. It's good. Is the people that are just receiving prayer, they are the ones that have problem. So, there's no problem with them. It's you. It's you that now specialize in what? You turn on, oh, hey, let's receive prayer this morning. 6.30 to 7.30. That's abuse. You are supposed to, are supposed to pray. Pray to a point, And it takes time. It takes time to know the secrets of the palace. And one of my assignments in fact, my major assignment in this convention is to deploy people to the palaces. Did you hear me? Who are the kings that, who are the queens and the kings and the people, Daniel, the Joseph, the Esther, is going to the palace? Where are you? I said, where are you? But it takes time. Somebody shout time. So this morning, Creates time for instruction. And there will be impartation. You know, yesterday we did miracles. But today, instruction, impartation. Instruction, impartation. Instruction, impartation. More than I'm here to teach. I will teach. I have a few things I want to say. I'm here as a prophet to just sit down and decode the move of the Spirit. Sense the move of the Spirit. And let's flow. Are you ready to be raised? Lift up your two hands unto heaven. Everybody say, Lord. Let me hear you loud and clear. Say, Lord, I release myself to receive of you the instructions and the impartations that will release me. You know, something was released on the first night, the pre supernatural night. That shout. Oh, some of you didn't know that shout. I don't know if you knew that shout was so prophetic. But God, the Lord told me, he said, tell them to shout. And don't shout. They should not stop shouting until there's a release. Before we go into the next episode, I mean the next session, the next segment, episode, there we are. I'm led of God to lead you in that shout again. I heard the Lord say, babies are about, about to come out. Nations about to come out. 
Some of you, you've been sleeping. You've been sleeping. You have been coasting. You have been relaxed. But I speak as a prophet of God. You will leave this conference, this convention, with fresh vision, fresh ideas. You will begin to see. You will not just see Potakot. You will see Bayesa. You will see Akwaimbom. Makato Krobala. Eketa Kriala Kataya. Makakata Yakata. Amproloko Sataba. Some of you, you are pastoring a city. But before you know it, you begin to pastor your state. You begin to pastor states. Because something is about to be released. Are you ready, somebody? I said, are you ready, somebody? I said, are you ready, somebody? I'm not a comedian. When I hear it, I release it as a prophet. I want you to release a shh. Oh my God, there's something about it. Shh. There is a shout that breaks you out breaks all the cocoons around you breaks all the caps around you breaks all the limitations around you after the count of three release the shout one two three the voice from heaven this morning you know he said to he said to Moses he said tell Pharaoh let my people go that they might serve me and I had the Lord saying this morning let my people go that they may serve their generation did you hear me let my what that they may what and some of you got it. Maybe there were a lot of people that were not around us on Thursday. This time around, when after you have released that shout, you will get to a point. There will be an expression. That expression can be in laughter. You could be in walking around. You could be like just speaking prophetically to your future. I'm taking over this region. I'm moving in this direction. It's not just a shout. It's a shout that will lead to prophetic expression. Prophetic declaration. Prophetic action. Prophetic movement. Are you ready? After the count of three. One, two, three. Shout. Shout. 